afternoon, one and all to my Jamaicans.com family. It's so good to be with you. It's your hostess with the most, is Suzette Speaks, and I brought another fabulous lady with me. This is her first time doing a Facebook Live. She was a little nervous, guys, so you got to show love, make her feel welcome, make her feel comfortable. She is personal stylist, Miss Julie Ann Lee. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you Miss Suzette Speaks. I'm thank so you. happy you're here. I'm glad to be here. Listen, I got to just tell you what the vibe is right now. I, I love coming to you each and every Saturday here on jamaicans.com you know you must talk to me please leave a comment like and share the video we are here today in sunrise florida and we are checking out our event yeah the speak women's meetup group where julie was just a, a presenter talking about personal branding and styling so she gave us some good tips so we said yo let's just come and do the facebook live so the people can understand what it is to be up to the time as far as their personal brand and style so she's a lawyer former lawyer she has been in business in different realms for a while now and now she's on her own doing branding and styling not only for individuals but for companies as well so i was like julie you gotta come and give the people some tips and especially because women like to change up our style and we're not always sure how and we don't know what's age appropriate we don't know what is fashion over style we, we kind of get lost sometimes with all the people who are different you know shapes um sizes everybody has a different style and what they say with their style is something unique to them so we want to talk about all of that ladies please say hello don't be rude please all of my friends all my family Thank you, first of all, people who came here live to the meetup, and then you yeah, online, awesome. Awesome. you missed out. Oh, awesome. When I tell you here. we do these meetups and we really get deep into what women want, what women go through, how we can better um, prepare ourselves financially today, as how we look with uh, Julie as a speaker, we talked about it all, and it was really, really foundational. So hopefully you get to come. If you're in South Florida, look up Speak Women's Meetup Group. Last but not least, before we start to chat, it's just a chat. We want to uh, make sure you know about the Speak Women's Empowerment Conference. Yes, clap up. Clap, hey, clap it up. Clap it up. <laughs> it is coming up next month, March 16th, Saturday, March 16th, at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in South Florida, Hollywood, Florida. Buy your tickets now on Eventbrite. We're going to have over 25 women speakers talking about everything from business to personal growth to how you can become the you you want to be real life strategies in 2019 so mouthful make sure you check it out right here on jamaicans.com it's on the event page so make sure you check it out speak women's empowerment conference we're talking sisterhood we're talking purpose empowerment authenticity and of course knowledge so anyway here with julie 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 Julie, yes, 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 Julie, yes. Hello, hello, Julie. hello, 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 everybody. Julie, hello. so the people want to know what it is that you do. So explain to them what as a branding personal stylist do. Well, I concentrate mostly on helping women create their personal style, personal brand. Uh, styling is just one part of personal branding because yes. you know personal branding encompasses um, how you how what your office looks like Absolutely. or or things like that. So mm -hmm. your yeah, hair, your hair, your makeup, yeah. Yeah, 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 all the different parts of you. <laughs> right. And one thing you said today here at the Speak Women's Meetup is that even when you go to the supermarket. Go pick up your kids from school. And you're dropping off the pit. And you're, pick, you're coming back to church or wherever you're going. You're saying something about yourself just through your clothing. You might not think of it that way. And sometimes you don't put the, 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 the pressure on yourself to think of it that way. But others are picking up clues about you and who you are and how you live. Um, what do you say about that? How should people think about their, even on their routine runs how they dress or how they present themselves to the world and you really shouldn't think about it as putting pressure on yourself mm. because if it's something that you do on a daily basis you realize the importance of it okay then you will be you will realize that okay even if i'm going to the gym all right you don't need to wear a, a shirt that's five sizes too big or shorts that you know they're tear dropping up. off for your tear up shots, tear up shots. Mm -hmm. uh, because you never know who you will meet when you're going out on the street when you're coming from the gym when you're going to the gym you know it's hairdressing so, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, things like that. So just think of it as you're just making the best impression that you can of yourself 24-7. Well, well, let me back you up a little bit because I, I got to make a confession because I have, <laughs> I've been known to run out to like, not the mall mall, but like the plaza mall in pajamas like not really the not, not come out in a pajama so <laughs> so so frequent but so frequent still, <laughs> but you know i might not put on the full face of makeup 
and I might have on, you know, like the tights in the in the middle, like maybe tank. And you know, I've run into people, and it is embarrassing, not because I'm ashamed, but because I really am going that way because I don't really expect to run into people. And they'd be like, Suzanne, is that you, girl? And I'm like, don't see me, I'm invisible, I'm invisible, but you can't be because you're really there. So I agree with what you're saying. Sometimes you don't even know who is gonna be on the street. Not that you come out in your in your um, you know, house clothes, but even in my just regular day-to-day -day look, which, which can be a from the gym look, or just, you know, put on, as we would call it, the judging clothes. <laughs> um, we, I didn't really think of it like this, but I'm glad you're bringing this to people's attention that it is important because people are looking at us in all aspects of life. So what is the biggest mistake women are making as far as their clothing choice? What do you think we are not doing? I think we're not looking to try clothing that's our actual size. Whoa. We usually get things that are too Whoa. tight because wear your size. <laughs> wear your because size. we oh, don't yeah. want to we don't want to believe the number that's on the tag. Even we could have gone through, you know, you have babies, you put on weight, even if you lost weight. Yeah, a lot of yeah, people yeah. lose weight and they still have their mindset that they're still a size 20 when they're actually a size 14. Yo, yo, so it's yeah. hard. All right, people, drop a comment. You know. Drop a comment. <laughs> all right. All I know right. it's a lot of people out there. Drop a comment. If you or someone you know or love don't wear their size. And ladies, I'm not trying to say it as a critique because this is not about judgment of another woman because all of us have our issues. Let's just be real. Nobody's perfect. But when, since we are talking to a branding and styling professional, one of the mistakes she is pointing out that I have been, let's, let's be, keep it real, much more, um, let's just say, guilty of than I'd like to be is the number, the number in the clothing, mm -hmm. controlling if you like it, if you want to buy it, how, how you're going to wear it. If you it. put it back, if you, it back, if you leave the store. store, I've done that. <laughs> the lady told me, you want to try a large? And I was like, I don't wear large, miss. I don't know if you, you didn't notice, I don't wear large. I wear medium. Medium. And that's depending and the on the medium designer. Must me. And the medium squeeze, squeeze me, squeeze, squeeze me up. But I'm wearing that medium though. But I really had to like get a grip on my life to realize that bodies are different. Clothes are, are different. Are different. And they put different numbers to make you feel good or make you feel. And the American sizes are bigger too. So I think sometimes we got to really get away from this. Like you're saying, don't just pressure yourself talking about your number or a certain letter. Look on the clothing, hold up the clothing, give the clothing a chance. Try it on. Try it on. Don't and be if afraid. It, if it's a higher number, when you get home, cut out the towel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> denial, <laughs> denial. That's not my size, but this fits me though. This fits me. So um, make sure you drop a comment. I know it's going crazy on that. I'm getting my Wi-Fi is going in and out. So thank you to the people watching, and thank you so much for liking and sharing this video. Once again, Suzette Speaks with Julie and Lee Personal Silence. So tell me about... What, what you do in terms of like, if you're coming to somebody's home, I think some of us, I know me personally, I can't speak for everyone. I wear the same 10 pieces of clothing over and over, mostly, probably about 80% of the time. The same favorite dress, the same one, two pants, the same skirt, and I don't realize I'm doing it and you like have the 80% of your closet still back there. Why do we do that? And how can you or someone like you come into a space such as our home and come and see what we can do different with our with our clothing. How how does that work? You just asked me a question that I could teach a whole class yeah. on. <laughs> okay, but one thing that I do, one of my services is a closet uh, redo. So what I do is with that service, I will go and I will sit down with you. First thing I do before I look on clothes, help people buy, is do a consultation with you. Mm. I need to know where you're coming from right. mentally, why you're in the place that you are, right. the clothes that you're wearing. Right. Most times, it's a lack of time, mm. or people think it's a lack of time. Mm. So they go for the, the, the black pants that they wore you know, last Since week, 1972. <laughs> Since okay. 1980. Okay, I went for last See week Monday, but you See went for last week. 91, 20,000. See them clothes. Stop it. I'm talking to you. And you keep buying clothes that you don't use because either because it doesn't go with anything else that you have or because you're used to the same thing. It goes to the back of the closet and then you just gravitate towards the same 10 pieces right. that you wear every every week. So I come in and I look through your clothing. The first thing we do is try on every single piece of clothing that you have. Wow. To see what fits. And because what a lot of times yeah. we have at least 40% of our closet Don't does fit. not 
fit us, physically fit us. That's wait, 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 wait. Let's just digest <laughs> what you just said. So if you drop a comment, if you were to actually go through each and every piece of clothing in your closet, how much of that clothing you think would fit you right now? I think that's a very, very good, even something that you could do on your own. A professional probably needs to come and do an intervention for most of us in our closets. However, that's something you can do right now. Go through each of your clothes. What don't fit you, put it out. What does not still have its uh, a flare? It's washed out. It is kind of dingy, the, 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 the neck kind of stretch. You know what I'm talking about. You know I love those shirts too. I love them. I wear them in my house. But some of us really need, uh, sometimes you can't make mm -hmm. room for the new because the old is packed up in the closet. The old and so, ill-fitting. Oh, yes, and it's not doing us anything but saying, boy, we were a size 6 back in the day. And, and just keep you depressed. Yeah, yeah, but just keep two or three of the size 6 them, but give away and just live where you are now. Exactly. And even, exactly. like you said, you might have lost weight. You might have gained weight. You might have had a baby. You might have changed um, into Jobs. a different job, different, a different, different age group. Mm -hmm. All right, you're in the sweet 16 forever, and you just <laughs> turned 37. <laughs> Right, right, okay. Sometimes the clothes gotta mature with us. Sometimes the, matu the maturity, sometimes we're not really embracing, will actually make us look better. Surprise. So I think you're, you're onto something. Dig up the closet this weekend. <laughs> Dig up the closet and start look through the clothes and start giving the clothes. Please, Salvation Army, uh, Goodwill, all these people, there are people that want to wear your clothes. So sometimes we're holding on to things that are really meant for other people at this point in, in time. So tell me about, um, like as far as the trends that are going on now, sometimes people don't like to be on trend. Some people like to be, I, I hope to be classic and not have to change my clothes, but sometimes you have to buy a little new this or a little new that to kind of keep up with the time. What is really trending right now? What are we seeing? I know it might be different depending where you are. You drop a note. If you're in Brooklyn, your trend right now might Maybe be different, different than London. LA, might be different from London. in the streets of Kingston. Exactly. So we're in South Florida. So what are you seeing a lot as far as, I know it's springtime, bright exactly. colors. What are we seeing it's as far colors, as? Bright colors and mm, some florals. Florals? It's, uh, they, there you go, you trend. fit right in, you're trendy. <laughs> it's still, trying, but yeah. from last year, it's still the off the shoulder for, mm. for, for ladies, it's mm. still the off the shoulder. Showing the decollete. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so, and so a little, and a little people shoulder something too. The, the cold shoulder. Cold, cold, cold shoulder. Exactly. That the cold the shoulder shirt. The people shirt. where your side are shoulder show, but it's long <laughs> sleeve. I like those long blouse. sleeve, short sleeve, or, I like or anything. Blouse. Exactly. I like those blouse. So keep it colorful floral and you can show the decollete well that's that's what the trends that are oh, that okay. are going on okay uh there's what, certain, what you're trying to say is not for everybody it's not trends are not for everybody ooh, that's the thing ooh. you try to incorporate one or two pieces mm -hmm. to stay current right, right right but the thing that you're trying to get most and achieve most is proper fit Oh. So you can buy something that's trendy that really doesn't fit you, whether mm. it's in size or it doesn't accentuate a body part that you have. So use trends and don't spend like five thousand dollars on a trendy piece. Right, right, right. Spend five or ten, or you oh, know, okay, five or whatever. ten dollars. <laughs> but the, what you said, and I think this is the point we're probably gonna drive home here. Where what fit you, as far as size and cut and cut for your body? And you know what I've done. I try to find a celeb, like I'm not trying to say I'm Beyonce or nothing, but I'm just saying, find a celeb that has almost your same body type and see what she's wearing. Because they pay thousands of dollars for people to tell them what to wear. So me and Norma have kind of big it and kind of ties. Amen to the thick thighs lady that drop a there comment. There you go, there you drop go. Drop a hello. comment. When your jeans pants rub out, they're not a middle car, you're tight. Hello, I, am I the only one? Am I don't, I'm, I'm a little you don't know what I'm saying. Listen, you my don't jeans pants, it. it's thick thighs problems, girl. If you know what I'm talking about, please drop a comment. But I'm just saying, if you have that problem, you got to find a, uh, a person who is probably out there in the media who looks like you in terms of your body type and see that what they wear in the um, summertime, see what they wear formal wear, see what they wear casual wear. And oftentimes, if you like it, that is, you don't have to dress like nobody else, but if you like it, I've gotten a lot like me, I rock a three-quarter skirt. My body type looked very good for a knee-length skirt because my thighs is, is winning right now. So if you if you have that type of shape or if you don't have that type of shape, maybe you're more around in the middle. Maybe you have bigger boobs. 
moves, whatever your shape is, there, there is somebody out there in the public eye that has similar characteristics to you. So a tip I would give is like, I just look at what they have or what their style preferences are for their shape. And I try to emulate it from Marshall's TJ Maxx, big Thank up TJ Maxx. Please don't go broke trying no, to. No, big up trying Ross. To, <laughs> trying to look like a celebrity. No, or, no or I believe in things. discount shopping. So wherever you get it from. I, and what about that? Why are some people so attached to labels? Some people will not pick up a suit if it's not Calvin Klein or if it's not this or that. What about getting caught up in labels? Is that is that a good, healthy uh, shopping habit? It's really not healthy because, because Calvin Klein or whoever charges a whole lot of money you can get um proper fitting clothes for less amount of money or mm -hmm. you can get your calvin clients on sale yeah you can get them you don't have to get them marshall's, <laughs> marshall's ross yes i don't know what Max. it is in the uk i don't know what it is in canada but drop drop a comment and let us there know there you go what, what you know what, what we mean once it gets uh, from the brand new season uh inventory down to the other select stores that wholesale it it is much cheaper it's the same jeans they had in the uh macy's two months ago are now in Marshalls. Now, if you can afford it, by all means, I'm do spend your money. Yeah, but, yeah, but brands, yeah. But you should really people... save your money, though. But, you were... but if it's your choice, okay, do okay. You... <laughs> <laughs> If it's your choice, you can. Of course, everybody have freedom to make their decision, but why, why spend it unnecessarily when you can put it down for a rainy day or save it for your kids or whatever? So um, I want to ask in terms of your, um, your preference for you, what do you what does the stylist Julie Lee like as far as making her own fashion statement? What what are you known for? What do you like to incorporate in your own style? I like simplicity. I have I also like dresses a mm, lot. Mm -hmm. uh, for me that comes from you go you keep going on appointments and it's the quickest thing. Okay. You don't really have to coordinate a top and a pants. Like this like one dress, so shift I, I, dress or whatever. Yeah. Or, or a yeah. fitted dress or yeah. something like that. Simple. Um, mm. Because it is simple. And when you're on the go, you're in a business, you're on the go, and you're doing presentations or meetings and things like that, the last thing you want to do a lot of times is say, okay, what shirt goes with Too what much. pants with Dresses what are belt easy. With. And I didn't exactly. always have a dress game. It's not until I met a homegirl while I was in um, law school who taught me the importance of having a good structured dress. Exactly. A little bit That's black the dress come in. and a good, oh yeah, exactly. mention that. Tell, talk about tailoring, because a lot of people are afraid to, to buy things and, and, and change them to fit their body. Why is tailoring important? Tailoring is important because whatever you buy out in the street, when you get it tailored, it just fits you properly. Absolutely. A good tailor will take in where it needs to be taken. Uh, item needs to be taken and let out where right. item needs to be right. let right. out. Right. Um, cut a sleeve short if it's yeah. too long or things like that. So customize tailor, it. Exactly, customize it for you. Exactly. Yeah. And people will see you on the street and say, "Where'd you get that? That's Calvin Klein. It looks. Mm -mm. It, it looks mm -mm. more tailored." Yes, yeah, that's because you mm -mm. you spend two hundred dollars on an outfit and spend twenty five dollars and get it tailored absolutely to, to, to you. Absolutely. And it looks much better. Well, I'm so happy Julie was able to join us. We are wrapping up once again. Thank you so much for watching. Like and share the video. Julie, I know we're out of time, but tell the people where they can reach you on social media. They can reach me on www.jillian-j.com. Spell you it. G-I-L-L-I-A-N-J.com. Okay, Jillian You can reach me on Facebook mm -hmm. at Jillian J um, and Instagram at Jillian J01. All right, we love on all. Thank you for watching. It's your girl, Suzette Speaks, signing off. We'll see you again next Saturday. Y'all take care. All right, bye-bye.